Hello and welcome all. Today we will discuss about what are quarks, different generations of particles and standard model of particle physics. First of all, what is a quark? A quark is a type of elementary particle and a fundamental constituent of matter. Here, elementary particles are the particles which do not have further structure. Atoms are constructed of two types of elementary particles, quarks and electrons. The protons and neutrons which are inside the nucleus of an atom are made up of quarks. Whereas, electrons surround the atomic nucleus. Each proton and each neutron contains three quarks. The quark structure for proton is UUD and the quark structure for the neutron is UDD. Now let's discuss about the different generations of particles. In particle physics, a generation is a division of the elementary particles. Between generations, particles differ by their flavor quantum number and mass, but their electric and strong interactions are identical. Here, flavor quantum number is the value of isospin, strangeness, charmness, bottomness and topness for quarks. And flavor quantum number is the value of lepton number for leptons. Let's discuss the classification of matter. There are three generations of particles. They are subdivided into quarks and leptons. The two quarks may be classified into up type and down type. The charge for the up type quark is plus 2 upon 3 E whereas the charge for down type quarks is minus 1 upon 3 E. The two leptons can be classified into leptons with electric charge minus 1 and leptons which have zero charge that is the neutral leptons. Here we can see up, charm and top quark are the up type quarks whereas down, strange and bottom quarks are the down type quarks. Electron, muon and tau have the charge minus 1 whereas all the three neutrinos are neutral. Each member of a higher generation has a mass greater than the corresponding particle of previous generation with the possible exception of neutrinos. The neutrinos small but non-zero masses have not been accurately determined. The mass hierarchy causes the particles of higher generation to decay into the first generation. This explains why everyday matter is made up from only first generations. The electrons surround the nucleus and nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons which contain up and down quark. Here, electrons up and down quarks are the first generation particles. The second and third generation of charged particles do not occur in normal matter and they are only seen in extremely high energy experiments such as cosmic rays and particle accelerators. Now, let's discuss about the standard model of particle physics. The standard model includes the electromagnetic, strong and weak forces and all their carrier particles. It also explains how these forces act on all the matter particles. However, the most familiar force in our everyday lives, that is gravity, is not a part of the standard model. Fitting gravity comfortably into this framework has proved to be a difficult challenge. The quantum theory which is used to describe the micro world and the general theory of relativity which is used to describe the macro world are difficult to fit into the single framework. For particle physics, when it comes to the extremely small scale of particles, the effect of gravity is so weak and it can be considered negligible. Only when matter is in bulk, for example, at the scale of human body or planets, the effect of gravity is dominating. So, we can say that standard model works well even though gravitational force is not included in it. This is the standard model of particle physics. On the left hand side we have all the matter particles and on right side we have the force carriers. Matter particles occur in two groups. First quarks and the second one is first is quarks and the second one is leptons. The lightest and the most stable particles make up the first generation whereas the heavier and less stable particles belong to second and third generation. All the stable matter in the universe is made from particles that belong to the first generation. 
any heavier particles quickly decay into the more stable ones the six quarks are paired into three generations up and down quark in the first generation charm and strange quark in the second generation and top and bottom quark in the third generation the spin of all the six quarks is 1 upon 2 so we can say the quarks are the fermions the six leptons are similarly arranged into two into three generations the electron and electron neutrino in the first generation muon and the muon neutrino in the second generation tau and the tau neutrino in the third generation electron muon and tau have electric charges and a sizable mass whereas all the three neutrinos are electrically neutral and have very little mass forces and the carrier particles there are four fundamental forces at work in universe the first one is the strong force second the weak force third the electromagnetic force and fourth gravitational force all these forces work over different ranges and have different strength gravity is the weakest but it has an infinite range electromagnetic force also has an infinite range but it is many times stronger as compared to gravity weak and strong forces are effective only over a very short range and they dominate only at the level of subatomic particles despite its name the weak force is very much stronger than gravity but it is the weakest force of other three forces strong nuclear force is the strongest of all the four fundamental interactions fundamental forces result from the exchange of force carrier particles which belong to a broader group called boson so as a force carrier we all these all are the bosons particles of matter transfer discrete amount of energy by exchanging bosons with each other strong force is carried by the gluon electromagnetic force is carried by the photon and the weak force is carried by the wz bosons although not yet found graviton should be the force carrying particle of gravity the charge of gluon photon and z boson is zero whereas the charge for w boson is plus or minus 1 we can see the spin for all the four is 1 so we can say they are the gauge bosons or the vector bosons here the scalar boson that is higgs boson the charge is also zero and the spin is also zero the bosons which have zero spins are known to be scalar bosons higgs boson is a massive scalar boson with zero spin no electric charge and no color charge it is associated with the higgs field the field that gives mass to other particles such as electrons and quarks higgs boson is also known as the god particle friends i have uploaded different videos on different topics such as classification of fundamental forces and fundamental particles different bit difference between bosons and fermions different types of quarks anti quarks concept of isospin and why mesons are made up of quark and antiquark pair go through the previous videos to have the better understanding don't forget to subscribe my channel the versatile education for more videos on high energy particle physics thank you